What's up? What's up? How y'all doing out there? Well, one thing I can say, it's not as late as it was last night, but uh, <coughs> but it is uh, getting there. It is about 8.45 on this beautiful Friday night. I am your plate doctor, a.k.a. the Admiral. We are here live in the basement, as always. As I told you, Monday through Friday, you can guarantee your plate doctor, a.k.a. the Admiral, is guaranteed to get his training on it. No matter what, he's going to make time. I'm not going to find time. I want to make time. Hectic day. Very, very productive day, one thing I can say. And the most productive thing about today was is that all of my training sessions was just like phenomenal, man. It was like, it was just like a good vibe. Um, I trained about 15 people today. Uh, and everyone was just in like in an awesome mood. I mean, had a lot of energy, uh, great pounds down. Uh, one of my text messages, uh, one of my clients texted me and said, I'm in an old pair of jeans. I mean, that's pretty freaking good. Another one down 2.3 pounds, you know. Uh, so everything is just like, just a real trainer, a true trainer from the heart. That makes a person really feels good. Not only that, he knows that he'll always be in business. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. Always be in business if you know without a doubt that you can constantly, constantly help people with their physical goals, their fitness goals, as well as their mental goals. Because like I said, it's not just about exercising, it's about how you're understanding how to consume food, how to create a mindset, and that plays a major part and when it comes down to actually living a forward, productive, plan life. As always, as I said, I am your plate doctor, AKA the Admiral. We down here live in the basement, as always. Uh, the missus, she's gonna come over here in about uh, 30 seconds, hopefully. And, uh, <clears throat> and today, we're gonna bust out some uh, cool ass triceps and biceps part two. Normally, if you look out there, it says Freestyle Friday, right? And basically what that is, you just pick a body part and you bang it. Well, last night, if you noticed that it was like super late and uh, I had to get mine in, so what did I do? I came down here and bust out some triceps. Triceps for buys and tries. They get a whole lot done. But like I said, uh, I didn't go out empty handed. As always, is she over here? Here I am. There she go, guys. Hey, I'm your plate doctor, aka the Admiral, and this is. Here I'm Ms. Plate Doctor. Hey, as always, honey, um, come sit up here so they can see you, baby. Uh, okay. It's it's That's like. Better. Can you see me now? Well, I just wanted to be closer to you too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. But anyway, um, it's not as late as it was last night. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're not ready to fall asleep in bed yet. Last night was like crazy. Have you been drinking? No. No, I, I put alcohol on my oh. hands. <laughs> I use hand sanitizer. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. I like that. She smells like some fucking uh, Patron or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm sick. <laughs> I've been sneaking in the uh, Marsala wine. We don't have any. Man. Yeah, I use it for for uh, marinating my chicken. That's my sal like chicken Marsala. It's Marsala wine. She was my client, wasn't she? She moved to that hoe. No, I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> That's kidding. Kidding. <laughs> That's the most thing. Uh oh. That's Marsala. I'm not saying Marsala. Oh, I hope she's not watching this. <laughs> but anyway, oh no! But anyway, like I was saying, right? Um, tonight I would like to concentrate on some triceps and some biceps, okay. and um, and and get that in because last night we didn't get it in like we wanted to because yeah, it was late. Got some in. I did a lot. We did a lot, but I wasn't satisfied. Oh. And then today, you know, the first time I was giving, able to give you a hug and a kiss was like when we sat down and ate 
a snack. I'm like, oh, a pre-workout meal. You know? Yeah, we eat a pre-workout. What did you have for your pre-workout meal? I had some oatmeal with uh, protein, peach protein. Oh, I had a half of a protein waffle. Okay. Oh, he made some really yummy protein waffles. That's what I was waiting. You were talking about the stuff you had left over oh. that you was marinating. I, I wanted you to come on. Because you said, I, you asked if I had alcohol. I was like, no. But no, I was asking about what did you, what was your part of your pre-workout? Oh, well, I had the protein waffles. The Koti, Kodiak with the Kodiak mix. The Kodiak mix. And yeah. I bumped it up. He bumped it up with, uh, he added um, some three, um, protein powder. Three scoops powder, of um, which and, is 60 more grams. Okay, and also the Premier. This is 30 grams. And eggs. Three of them, which is another 18 grams. And milk. And eight ounces of milk, which is another eight. Okay. So, and That's I only got... in addition to the protein already in there. Which was two cups, so I used a total of 56 and because you, um, a half a cup is 14 grams. A whole cup is 28 grams of protein in the Kodiak pancake waffle mix. Yeah. So I used two cups of that, three scoops of the ump protein powder, um, <clears throat> three eggs, one cup of milk, and a one whole premier. Right then I put my other stuff in there, like my baking powder, my vanilla extract. Yeah, normal baking yeah, stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And then um, I threw some blueberries in there because you love blueberries. One, one, one waffle. I only got six waffles out of that. Yeah. So one waffle was roughly about 25 grams of protein. Sheesh. And how did they taste? They taste <coughs> Excuse me. I mean. Actually, I think you just took a picture. I was eating a protein yeah. waffle. Um, smash some almond butter. I got to post that. Between two yeah. of the quarters. Smash them and then ate that as like a protein with... Almond butter biscuit. Yeah, yeah. I put syrup on yeah, mine. Was, uh, uh, I put syrup on mine. It was like dousing in syrup. You know. Well, see, I'm, I'm not gonna go for that extra sugar. But I got it. <laughs> you already sweet. <laughs> I mean, the blueberries are in there, so to me, it's sweet enough. Right. But are we going to train tonight? Are we going to run out? I'm waiting on you, sir. But you're kind of like loquacious, <laughs> as I would say. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to do some triceps first. Okay. And we um, then I'm gonna take my sleeves off because if I try to do some biceps with my sleeves on, it's gonna kind of like um, it'll be too not too tight. Restricting. Yeah, it'll restrict. It'll restrict my biceps. But I need it for the um, elbow support, you know, because I'm gonna be doing some dips and I'm gonna be doing some um, press down with the rope and I want to do some skull crushes here on the bench. Right? Okay. Um, I'm not going to go heavy. I'm just going to concentrate and get some good reps in. Right? And just concentrate and focus on the muscle. So I'm going to go with a straight bar. I'm going to go with a straight bar on my um, skull crushers. Okay. I'm going to go with a straight bar on the skull crushers. So I'm going to get set and we're going to roll like that. Hey, guys. Um, hey, I'm your plate doctor, a.k.a. the Admiral. This is Miss Plate Doctor. We're down here live in the basement. Design your plate to shape your weight. Um, this Sunday, this Sunday, I want for you to bake um, one of your protein breads or your protein um, uh, slices, your protein sticks or your banana protein bread. But okay. what, yeah, what you got to do, you got to make some, right, bake it off and have it sliced up. And then we'll record the beginning and we'll show the before and after. But we are, you have one already made up. Right? Then that because we can't wait and come on part two. But I was thinking about, but it's, hey, listen guys, let me tell you something. She made a mean protein banana nut or mean protein banana sweet potato bread. It's off the freaking charts. It's extremely nutritional. She make her own flour out of oatmeal. She don't go buy the oat brand flour. We get the rolled oats and we make yeah. flour. Take some old-fashioned oats and ground them up. Yeah, and the Vitamixer yeah. turns it into flour. Yeah, That's what she uses. Flour. 
Oh my God, it is delicious and extremely, extremely nutritional, you know, so. I mean, it's way better than eating a protein bar or buying, you know, buying it, because when you buy it, there's always going to be preservatives and other added, you know, inert but, yeah. stuff that you don't need. But like you said, but at the same time, it's, it's all from scratch. It's only like maybe three or four ingredients. Yeah, just a few ingredients. Yeah, yeah. So, listen up. We're going to train because I see him in my mouth. Let me get up, honey. All right. Okay, let's go. Oh, man. Hey, guys, we appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, I'm going to get set up over here. I'm going to start out with some, uh, some dips. Hey, honey, can you see how they got me in the camera? That way, I'm not looking too silly. <laughs> wow, you're right in front of the camera. Am I? Am I still good looking? Am I regularly yeah. handsome still? Huh? He's I. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. You know, that first set's a mother sucker, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. When I was younger, I would just bounce straight up. Still got to 15. I'll get me a bar that I'm gonna use. Warm these joints up first. I'm gonna go with a skull crusher here. Oh boy. Then I go over here and I hit some press downs with the rope. Feel better. All right, honey, let's see what you got. <clears throat> so there, guys, like right, I said. So I'll just do, can I use some um, one of those bars for the skull crusher? What should yeah, I yeah. use? Uh, since you don't want to use a straight bar, use um, the civil one. Yeah, use the civil one there. That's about a 20 pound bar right there. Okay. And it's pretty good because um, it's like the easy curl. Yeah, that's fine. So it'll be, le it'll be less stress on your wrist. Okay. 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 Let me do. You're gonna warm up that. I'll do some modified uh, dips. That's it. Okay. okay. Yeah, because I'm doing the dips with the dip bar. And she's gonna show you how to do little, it. It's a little uh, rough on my shoulders. Okay. You have a nice tricep, though. Huh? You have a nice tricep. All right, let's get it. That's nice. So basically.
face because she's still she's doing a modified dip, uh, hitting her triceps, and I'm just doing the dips off the uh, matador dip bar that I have, and then keeping all the stress off of her shoulder. And you see the stress that is hitting her triceps. Now, that's not bad at all. And then she's gonna go over and she's gonna uh, skull crusher. Yeah, or you can uh, or that. go here. Let's go here first. Skull crusher. Yeah, go to hit your skulls. Okay. And then she's gonna go in here and getting a skull crusher, utilizing the easy curl bar. <clears throat> okay, let's get it, baby. You notice how she's keeping her elbows pretty close together, so then it actually puts the uh, majority of the stress on all three heads of the tricep, especially the long head, because she's gonna stretch, um, actually stretch part of the uh, rep. Good job, baby. Then she'll get up from there and then she'll bang out some uh, press downs with the rope. Good job. You thought they were doing any triceps? Yeah. Cool. All right. Then your press downs. how she hinges forward slightly and the purpose of hinging forward is so she can create leverage you know that way she can take her body out of it by using her body but actually putting the stress load on her triceps that's a great move great move and you see how it activates the tricep especially the short head there. Good job, honey. All right, go ahead and bring out the other set of dips. One more set with this bar to warm these old elbows up.
go ahead and give me a heavier bar. Said your triceps are still sore, you know, because like I said, we did we hit some tries last night. We hit some tries last night that uh, but it's just like you know, I wasn't enough for me. I need some more. Big shout out to Jamaica as always. Feel that right on those triceps, right there? Yeah. Cool. some uh, biceps. excuses that they they would say uh, it's about this grinding getting it in no matter what huh honey basically yeah basically just do what it takes man you know I say to myself sometimes you know to get to where I am now where I was came from you know Wow, if I wouldn't have made that choice. Because I look back at so many people that I know that couldn't make that choice. And that's one thing that no one has power over. It's power of choice. You know, so you decide, you choose. your own power. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's just, just telling you what it is. Yeah. All right, here we go.
Three. Three. Okay, nice. Whew. Get a couple more in. Doing those triceps, right, babe? Yes, I am. <laughs> Five of these. Hit five sets. And then we want to attack some tri uh, biceps. Because we only did one movement for biceps yesterday, and which was uh, a unilateral bicep dumbbell curl. That's what's up. Right. You know what? I haven't went up on this side uh, like this yet. Well, when it comes, see, I like this. If she asks me a question now, I get to take me a little long, longer break, right? <laughs> no, I mean, I just think, like, when you face forward, it's more, I don't know, I would do more of my shoulder, but if I'm facing backward, then I can use more of my back. I don't know. Well, you don't really use your back when you're doing dips. Okay? A dip is basically a chest or a tricep and you're going to feel it in your shoulders because it's like a pushing oh, movement. It's a push move. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so you're going to feel it like in a pushing fashion. Okay. Okay? So, doing a dip, like if you want to concentrate on the triceps or you want to concentrate on the chest, it depends on how you angle your body. Okay. You know? Um, but once you've been doing it quite some time, you can get it any kind of way and know how to you know put how the stress I'll... load, how to adjust, right. okay. how to adjust the stress load, right. you know? Okay. But me going backwards here, right? If you notice, my, uh, my hands are in close. You see this here? Uh-huh. And I want to bring my feet behind me. And I'm going to lift my head up. And that's going to put more stress on the tricep. 
time, right? Um, but at the same time, putting the stress on the chest too, right? So let me go up. I guess this is a push move. Ah, boy. Shit. <laughs> I got to come out here, so too close in. Well, because the closer you in, the more the more you uh, try stuff she had. So I'm gonna come out here. I didn't. Uh, that was my first time trying to this matter to a bar. So let me try it here. I mean, I can just put the stress low anywhere. I mean, I've been doing it almost four decades. So, I can kind of like, I know how to position my body. But, I really like doing dips for my chest. Oh. You know? So you do it more for your chest. Yeah, but you do it for triceps too. Because you're going to feel those triceps. But to hit my lower pec, right? Dips and declines, like for your lower pecs, you're like a decline machine or decline bench okay. for your lower pec, right? So, and, and men, especially my age, um, because you gotta remember, we start losing muscle yeah. as you get older. Mm -hmm. So, you're gonna lose some of your chest and it's gonna start dropping like gravity, I mean, that's the law, that's the universal law. Yeah. It's gonna start dropping. So by me constantly working my chest, that's why I really wanted that bar. Cause I know I love dips and I can feel healthy and strong enough to do them. I love pull-ups, you know? But the dips are gonna help me keep my chest full. You know? Cause if you think about it, you get older. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Oh, I already know. Yeah, your chest don't drop. Uh, well, mine. That's from naturally babies. Naturally. That's from drop. babies, honey. That's different. I mean. That's different. Now, right, here we go. Notice how my elbows don't come forward. I got all this stress right on my triceps. Yeah, I hear those elbows clicking. <laughs> well, one thing for sure, you know it ain't a Rolex, because a Rolex don't tick, 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 tick. <laughs> Yeah, that was a that, joke. It definitely ain't no Rolex. Nah. No uh, time bomb. Yeah, that's what it sounds like, a time bomb. Yeah, it's more like click, 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 click. Yeah. Whew. Oh. I, I don't know this. why he loves dips and pull-ups. Because. Very much, I mean. That's what you're doing to pay attention. I guess that's why I don't really love them. You go to the yard. <laughs> I mean, you ain't going to the yard talking about the milkshake bring all the boys to the yard. You know, not in the jump. I mean, you can do that, but uh, you don't want to. Change the handle, honey. Okay. Yeah,
pretty good. You feel those crocs test, honey? Yeah. Man, man, man. Hey guys, we appreciate y'all hanging out with us. I'm your plate doctor, aka the Admiral. We're down here live in the basement. We do this Monday through Friday, guaranteed. And like I said, we want to make sure that we get our training on as well. Now this is strictly for entertainment. Huh? We two adults, acting like kids, especially if you get us with a little energy. <laughs> right now, we're just trying to honestly get this shit over with. You know? And I still got uh, one more set of this. Then I gotta hit my biceps. And don't forget, every Sunday from 10 to 11, you got Power Fit Live with DJ Dewey. You know, featuring Miss Play Doctor. So, that's every Sunday, every Sunday, from 10 till 11. And that's on Facebook Live, guys. Check it out. Let's get this, baby. Nice. This is our game, but uh, you're 58 now. Yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> I've been on this earth, uh, according to their math, 58 years. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So, uh, I guess I'm not a spring chicken anymore. Nope. Uh, I guess I'm just an old bull. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Oh. Say, I wouldn't just stop there. Oh, excuse me. Y'all don't know what it's like, man. I hope, hey, I'm gonna give a big shout out to all the wives and husbands that have to work in the, under the same roof that you can't, you don't have to leave your house. Hey, I wonder how many people are out there. If you have to work at home with a spouse like we do, how do you survive? How do you survive? <laughs> Drop us a comment. Let us know. I would like to know that. <laughs> I mean. Ooh. I mean, luckily, we're, we have enough space in this house where we can be separated, kind of. And the sex is good. <laughs> What's that have to do with working together? Make you stay together. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you better uh, hit, that, hit that song so that... Uh, Oh, yeah, fast forward, you gotta do it on your phone, honey. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go ahead and do my set here. But uh, but that's the truth. Hey guys, hit us up and uh, let us know how many people can uh, actually work under the same roof with your spouse all day, every day, for what, the last five months? Yeah. <laughs> Drop me a note. How long has it been? It's been five months. Five months. I said five months, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, five months. That's wow. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, 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 uh. 
Oh boy. I tell you what though, the older you get, the harder this shit gets. So, I'm gonna make a quick bow to myself, which I've been doing this for so long. I can't get out of shape no more. I can't do it. All those bags of potato chips, the five guys. Milkshakes. Milkshakes. Baby, can French you, fries. Baby, can you believe I, I used to drink a milkshake and, uh, what, every eight, day. Eight pounds of pasta, lasagna, no, ziti, baked ziti. Well, actually, seven pounds. Yeah, he gave one to the I doc. Had to give one away. I mean, he was hungry too. <laughs> but I mean, family size bags, right? Like two yeah, servings I'm for me. Yeah, talking about the super size family size bags. That was two servings for me. It really was. Yeah, it's insane. <clears throat> Well, I mean, think about it too, honey. Uh, I'm taking in most days probably less than 100 grams of carbs. The majority of my calories are coming from fat and protein. I would say about 85%, maybe 90. You know, comes from. I guess and, I, and I do that purposely so I can't put cheese in my eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. I do that purposely. You know, I do that purposely so I can eat one cup of egg whites and six whole eggs with a couple of ounces of cheese. Mm -hmm. That's good. I can eat that. Mm -hmm. You know, and then if I want some carbs, you know, I always put a half a cup in my protein drink, right? Or I eat a, um, an English muffin, mm -hmm. the um, cinnamon raisin. And they're about 30 pounds, 30 rounds of carbs. And I eat a half, have a half a cup of oatmeal, it's 27. I'm still not even, I'm at less than 60 grams of carbs right there. And I'm doing 45 minutes of cardio. And I'm weight training five days, five, six days a week. So that's what I mean by designing the plate. So uh, who don't like cheese eggs, you know? So when you know how to distribute your macronutrients, you can actually enjoy food. Yeah, and you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with enjoying you know? real food. I mean, like normally on Fridays and Saturdays or either day, we go somewhere and do a carry out. But I wanted, I wanted some protein waffles, you know? And that was a treat, why? Because I get to use syrup. And I douse my shit in syrup, you know? But, uh, I, I hold off on the syrup. Yeah, you stack yours with almond butter. Yeah! <laughs> so, but, as I'm saying, is that we know how to design our plate, you know, to shape our weight. Okay, you know, it's, it's okay to enjoy your food. I mean, if it's real food, I mean, we honestly, we don't keep very many processed stuff at home, you know, other than the protein supplements, the Premier and the um, protein, um, and the peanut butter, the nut butters. But other than that, we don't really eat processed stuff, so... To me, it's, food is 
enjoyable. Process stuff is a quick way. You know? Yeah. It's quick it's a quick way. Yeah. I mean you know? so. I mean I prefer fresh foods, I prefer fresh vegetables. I love your Chinese string beans. And he loves my string beans. I love your string beans. <laughs> the Chinese string I'll never forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese food. Excuse me, this is Well, the only real reason they're Chinese is that I add soy sauce and rice wine. Rice wine and soy sauce. I mean, I mean, what? Angelina couldn't even find the rice wine. bicep work and I'm just going to talk some cash trash when we hit my biceps because really I want to do this one cool movement this is going to be an isolated bicep movement um, hitting it one one at a time this goes here point down so see exactly what I'm trying to I want to sit here. I'm not going to do some, um, I'm not going to do it from here. Let me see. Check this out one more again. So you see these massive guns. Demonstrate some concentrated bicep curls here. Uh, this is a great movement to actually hit the belly of the bicep. You notice. I don't want to grab my dumbbell too tight because I want to put all that tension right on that belly of its bicep here. I see it. And you notice how I want to come up with a slightly supination. I 
it's getting pretty lean. It's getting pretty lean, but it's not where I want it to be yet. But like I was saying, you get a little older, shit is a lot harder. That's for sure. Demonstrates uh, 60 minutes of uh, purity, cool ass movements, having fun. Um, and it's for from beginners to the uh, advanced. And it's just a workout. That's all it is. It's just a workout. But right now, we're doing some concentrated curls. My wife, long, beautiful ponytails in the way, covering up those beautiful, sexy arms. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck down here live, but I'm in the basement. Uh, I'm gonna bump this stuff. No, it sounds like I hear some. It's like I heard some thunder. Maybe. So I'm gonna bump this up. I'm gonna go with a 35. But you know I like to always add some shit in there. So I'm gonna bust out some concentrated curls here. Then I wanna go with some hammers. And I'm gonna bang those with the 25. And I'm gonna do that back to back. Uh, I always try to find ways to shock the body, to shock the muscle, because the muscle will adapt. I'm a, you know, I learned that from him. You know, the bicep or the arms. Oh, yeah, I know. It's Friday. I'm gonna do some arms. You know, so he normally gonna go, he's gonna do some bicep curls, and then he's gonna do some preacher curls, and then he's gonna do some hammer curls. But I come in and I switch that shit all the way up. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I go instinctively and I create a vicious, vicious training uh, session. And I do the same way with my clients. People are like, what are we gonna do? I'm fuck if I know. But once you get that first movement, then everything starts coming. You know, it blows their mind that I don't, I don't write anything now. They were like, wow, but it worked. You know? That's why it's fun to train with you. Yeah. So. Because so. honestly, nothing's, you know, on paper, nothing's been, you know, really pre 
designed. Nothing's pre-recorded. Nothing's premeditated. Nothing. Everything is spot on, on the moment. Whatever comes to his big head. your muscles and the bicep and that's what you get and that's what you get that's what you get you up honey so what'd you do I did the curl 10 10 and 10 or? I did 15 uh, 12 and 12 I think I did the dumbbells, hammers together, honey. Okay, so it was 12 on each side and then 12 hammers? I think I did, yeah, you did 12 or 15, I didn't count. <laughs> okay. I just fucking did them. Okay. So Let's get it. I guess I just gotta go with the flow. Go with the flow. All right, let's get it, baby. Dumbbell too tight either. Okay. Feel that bicep? Yeah. Sweet. Come up and let that muscle engage when you're contracting all the way up top. For like a split second, like a mental split second. Good job, baby. And like basically what we're doing is we are actually shaping the muscle. We can't change the shape, but we can enhance the shape that the muscle has. And the best way to enhance the shape of a muscle is to burn all the fat off of it. You know? Basically. Because you can't see a vein through fat. Think about that. You ever seen a vein on a fat person? You ever seen a vein on a pig? Nah, I'm just telling you the way it is. Good job, baby. Hey, guys, I'm your plate doctor, a.k.a. the Admiral. We're down here live in the basement. Design your plate to shape your weight. And like you said, man, if you understand how to eat, this could be a mostly, definitely a big treat for you. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. The letter U, the letter R, plate doctor. Subscribe. Check it out. Get some of this free subscribe. information. All right. I guess I'll go again. You can go again. Like you said, we come down Monday through Friday. We're going to get our workout on no matter what. No matter what. All right. 
Okay, here we go. That's when you know this shit's getting good to you. My body was expecting that little something, something at the end, but I did it, you know? That's why you're always curating growth. I'm always curating growth. Why? Because you always gotta be inventing, you know? You gotta understand your body. You gotta understand what works. Then you can start saving lives by helping other people, sharing your knowledge, and that's what we do. I know I'm sounding a little serious, because I'm no, no, normally very jokative. I don't know if that's a word or not, or loquacious, you know? But, whew, even though we started early, it's shit's getting late, and we about to escape. She gonna bust this set out, and uh, peeps, we up out of this joint until tomorrow, you know? Let's do this, baby. Well, at least uh, Saturday is just kind of a rest day for training. Yeah. We just do cardio. If we, if I feel like it. But yeah, I get it. Yeah. Sometimes, I don't know, sometimes you just need that extra rest. Mm -hmm. But the Sundays, I leave my class. Yeah. Miss so Flake Doctor. I am. Featuring DJ Dewey. Doctor. I leave my class with DJ Dewey. He's my hype person. <laughs> I'm a <her> hype man. <laughs> All right, baby, let's get this.
aka the Admiral. We're down here live in the basement, having fun, doing our thing. Good job, baby. Listen, guys, we appreciate you hanging out again, man. You don't know how grateful we feel, you yeah, know, for giving us the grateful. support. Um, we're just having fun. Uh, this is for entertainment only, but we are spending some good knowledge. Um, between the two of us, it's like close to 80 or 70 years of knowledge. I'm 38, you 32. Yeah. I'm 32. 34. 34. 34, I'm 38. Mm -hmm. Looking great. At 58? There, well, 38 and 34, that's 72. 72 years of knowledge we have. Wow. You know, I mean, it's just, and it's science. It's not theory. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't go with theory. We go with science. I mean, she knows exactly the statistics on the pharmaceutical industry and the drugs and the number one sellers and what could be replaced if someone wanted to um, get off of pharmaceutical drugs. And it depends on yeah. the medical conditions as well. Well, obviously, you know, you know if it's some kind of uh, chronic condition, you know, I'm not suggesting anybody yeah. uh, take themselves off But their we know beds. exercise, we know exercise is many cures. Um, but, um, well, I mean, you look at it as a big problem in the United States is obesity. And technically, technically, that's um, if you're... 30% and up in um, your BMI. Uh -huh. You're considered you know, obese. You're, you're considered obese. Mm. So, um, you know, it's obesity itself isn't going to be the disease per se, but it is a risk factor, a uh, contributing risk factor to other diseases. So, yeah. make sure. Let's make sure that you want to do some type of exercise. Like I said, we don't exercise, we don't diet, we eat and train. Yeah. You know, and that's the basic. We eat and train, have fun, and we come down here and we do that every day, and we get our workout on, and we make sure that y'all keep keep us accountable, you know? So we're going to always show up. And it might be 1 o'clock in the morning, but you can best believe we will not skip a training session. You can depend to come down and join us at any time and if you miss it here you can always go to our youtube channel the letter you the letter are your plate doctor yeah you can replay replay you know hey guys tell your friends about it come on man it's better than cnn news right so yeah we love better you than the fake news. Yeah. we love you um hey get strong stay healthy live longer and uh we are here so we are out of here now Oh, we out now. Yeah. Have a good one, people.